Hey, right, welcome back, y'all. It's Joe Sissy here with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Let's Play. And the last time, we ran into Dio to see if he would give us the key to the Temple of the Ancients. And he said he has it, but that he needed our help with what sounds like a power struggle with and the gold saucer. Sounds like it said Don Corneo has come to the park and is trying to make a bid to take over the whole place and we hate that guy so yeah we're gonna help Dio and try to throw his uh, slick mostly bald fat behind out of gold saucer but uh, first we gotta rest up for the big fight and oh it's Aerith Hmm, she's writing something. Hello, oh, Charlie. Are you enjoying yourself here at the Gold Saucer? Four years ago, the park underwent extensive renovations and was outfitted with state-of-the-art technology. Even today, the Gold Saucer continues to expand with new attractions yeah, currently in the works. I think I remember him saying all that. I guess Aerith's the only one in the party that's on the first floor. Oh, I, I probably need to talk to the clerk first. Date night of the gold saucer. One of your comrades is hoping to spend in a moment alone with Cloud later this evening. Cloud's relationship with his allies will determine how this portion of the story unfolds. If you wish to improve a bond with teammate, complete any remaining odd jobs which feature them before you proceed. Well, I think I've pretty much finished all the odd jobs I can up to this point, so... I don't know what the values are for his different relationships. You'd better rest up before your big day. Uh, yes, till tomorrow. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. Knock him dead. Oh, I wouldn't worry. He probably couldn't see anything with his eyes closed like that. I must be having more visions of the other world. I wonder if I get to choose who I go on the date night with, if they're all around the same level. Yeah, before that. Oh, I bet. Oh, I, was he looking through his his own eyes? The clouds that in this universe. The clouds all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. 
We're gonna give him a sponge bath. Nurse Thack here to see you. Earth sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because... She'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh Promise not to tell? <sighs> when she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Huh? Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. <sighs> Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what this scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. It's silver, Marlene. Or white. I can't remember. Platinum? I'm not sure what his hair color officially is, but I'm pretty sure it's not gray. Although I thought it was gray when I was a kid, first playing this game. Really original. Zach, did you see? I'm, uh... They're... Sorry, I was just gonna... How does Marlene know about... The events that happened in the original, it's, it's, because as far as, as far as I know, she's not psychic. She doesn't have visions of future, of the future regularly. Or is she getting a peek into the future of the other timeline? Is coming to con, because it showed that flashback of her and Aerith. Well, I think that was right after the Sector 7 plate fell. And Marlene was kind of sort of, you know, taken aback and backing away from Aerith. So, I don't know, maybe coming into contact with Aerith allowed her to see this vision or something? I don't, I don't know. This is, it's really weird. Blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? Maybe. Can always hope. Hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... 
Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on them while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. <laughs> no promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> don't let her. Please. I won't. Make sure that you're back by dinner. Well, off to see the evil wizard and the tower. And that evil wizard's name was Albert Einstein. No, no, it's Hojo. Yeah. So I guess Zach's going to go ask him about Cloud's condition, and Hojo's always been really helpful, so I'm sure we'll get the answers we're looking for. said couldn't stop thinking about it actually about how it's, it's up to each of us to find our own purpose in life because an avalanche I think I found mine we don't have a whole lot of time so tonight's got to be the night do yourself a favor and steer clear of reactor six <laughs> take care Biggs no I didn't... That's not what I meant! <clears throat> Gotta find Elmira! That was big's gonna... Two hours... Okay. Yeah. That's that's from when he first slid down. I thought, wait, two hours? Or is time flowing? I, I, for a second, I thought time was flowing in tandem between the two realities, universes, what have you. Uh, so I guess Biggs is going to be planning something big for Sector 6, perhaps uh, take out the reactor, or... Well, I don't see... I don't know what... There's nothing of strategic value there, Shindra, that I remember. Uh, where's my genie? Oh, my three riches. Nah, he went back in. Hey. Well, well. I wake baby from his nap. Everything okay? They're putting on a production tonight. Loveless. And I happen to have these tickets. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Please just oh. in and I thought you might feel the same. No, you're not busy, so want to come with? Just Barrett. You and me. Oh, just think of it as one of your jobs, Merc. Fine, but it'll cost you. Really? Effing Barrett is my date. <laughs> he is the joke date in the original. How did he? Oh my. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go, Bros Night. Why not? That's fine, I can look up Tifa's date on YouTube, I guess. Ugh, this is what I get for being nice to everybody. Going down. That must be the key, just act like an aloof asshole to everybody except the one person you want to do a date night with. Or not, don't do any other side quest that uh, involve any of the party members. I cannot believe this. I really cannot. <laughs> 
the <laughs> there's this there's this very weird maelstrom of emotions going through me right now of simultaneous incredulity and just absolute anger uh, well maybe anger is too strong but severe irritation <laughs> oh my good but <sighs> see I mean this is it's kind of the danger if of um, having in, having invisible values to these uh, relationship points or you know whatever these dynamics are called what have you is that you get situations like this where it's you know I think I'm making great strides I would have honestly I would have thought either Tifa or Barrett would be one or Tifa and Aerith would have been number would be one and two and then Barrett Red 13 and then Yuffie uh waiting for one of the actors to come out. I was hoping I could ask them for an autograph. Their captivating performance turned me into a fan. And I wonder who that actor is. Are you here to see Loveless? Yeah, me and my buddy here. Attention, event square guests. Could make them bloom. That's make them bloom. Come on. Please speak to a member of the staff at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Oh, hey, look, everybody else is here. Was going. Could make them bloom. That's make them bloom. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me? Oh, I bet she entered some contest to maybe uh, write lyrics for a new song that they were debuting or something. Quite a complicated timepiece there. Oh, hey, it's Jesse. Or someone that looks like Jesse. Is this pre recorded? It have to, if it's if that's Jesse, it'd have to be.
Now, I haven't been to too many operas in my time. And by that, I mean I haven't been to any. But... I'm not sure there's that... This much synchronized dancing... In most productions. But, I could be wrong. Okay, I guess that dead hero is getting to bone the goddess in the afterlife. Well, good for him. Vasily asleep. <laughs> Barrett. <laughs> Should have brought your clapper arm attachment. I had no idea what was going on. Oh, cool, my dreams of making it to the big stage are finally coming true. Oh, a mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Darkhaven. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger, while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Alfie was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. Choose your path. Face your fate. Or test your might. Oh, tutorial. Okay. Well, I guess I'll do tutorial. For Cloud's thinking a shield. Maybe I should use that. Okay, we got a QTEs. <laughs> mm, excuse me. That was one pesky light. Well, now he's brought his buddies. Oh, there was yeah, okay. Or not to proceed. Yeah, uh, yes. Well, only one way to go. Fate, sure fate. These bars shall not hold me. I must fly free. Release me. My blade thirsts for vengeance. It's Aerith. That's the Statue of Liberty. How did you find me? Your woeful cries could not fail to reach mine ears. Playing the part of the Dark Knight, Barret. Gentle princess. Barbados. Oh, oh. Would the cur defy his captain? That's some badass armor. I, by the grace of the goddess, as she has set me free. 
even now. So too shall she guide my place. Pride oh, it's goeth before the fall. <laughs> Pride goeth before the fall, and I, Garm, shall deliver you to hell. How right. shall your feeble aegis bear against piercing fang and keenest claw? I'll take on your pup first. May my infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh. Got a good fight, you might. Bravo! What a splendid show! Never have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then. Hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. Uh, your future with Rosa Varvatos's weakness. Uh, let's see what his weakness is. Fears that which he lacks, none other than truest love, the strength of hearts conjoined. <clears throat> that singular weapon is mightier than the darkest magics or deadliest blows, and it alone can overthrow the king. Be still, my aching heart. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon's roar! Oh, I'm trembling so much. The QTE, the uh, button prompts, they're kind of similar to several several action games I think God of War 3 is one of the more prominent ones where the buttons that appear um, you know the you know when you get a button prompt they they kind of appear in the the general direction of where the button faces on the controller which is nice and makes it makes it easier except when I right when I fail it like that. That circle was a little high. I thought it'd be a triangle. Yeah, kicked his ass with true love. A truly remarkable display of swordsmanship. Enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princesses' tale draws to a close. 
Only one act remains. Parting is indeed such sweet sorrow, but as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Hope versus despair. Danger up before. Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love. And so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. Uh, I don't see her. She's not on here. But, uh... <laughs> you know what? Let's just go... Let's go the comedy route. <laughs> Fuck her up, big guy. My love. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Oh no, do we have to fight them both? Oh look, Rosa's joining us. Difficulty went from one star to four. Hmm. Oh, gotta press them all. Hey. How did the VR know she was equipped with Phoenix? Game. Blouses. S Frank, yeah. Encore, encore. Bereft of wings and broken. I can sign you to the abyss. An inspiring victory, truly. Proof that love indeed conquers all, is it not? I tried to prove it to him, but he won't accept it. Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break, and you can dance no more. Alfred, look. There it goes. We'll never know what the time was. Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait, for I know that I will find you here. Amidst the burning wreckage.
Oh, is there more? Oh, that's her fur. He <laughs> said, wake up. <laughs> I wonder where Vincent is. Probably still hanging out at the haunted hotel. Shaker with the show? <laughs> Rock back to the beat. <laughs> Look, it's the whole gang, or at least their spirits. There's no thousand words, but it's pretty good. It actually was good, and I unironically unir un un really like thousand words from Final Fantasy X too. Encore! Encore! Wait, I only wrote the one song. Our relationship with Sid and Vincent have not changed. In fact, I think Cloud's even gayer than usual. <laughs> oh no, I'm sure they... I'm sure they loved it. At least the parts they were awake for.
disappointed, but I thought the I thought the VR experience let anybody in the crowd play the roles. Or do they just the it just scan everybody and say, okay, these are the best looking people there in the audience. Oh, see, yeah, it was all in VR. So did everybody have their own experience just tailored to them? Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Well, you heard him. Last chance to ride the Sky Wheel. Wanna end this on a high note? Thank you for joining no us. No pun intended, right? Oh, I, I never want the magic to end. And did I pass by the Moogle fast travel? Ah, oh, here we are. Freaking Barrett. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. But you know what? Maybe I should be embracing the new bromance that has blossomed between Cloud and Barrett. <laughs> it's not exactly. I mean, it's not the outcome I wanted, if that wasn't obvious. I, um, yeah, that's what YouTube's for, so. Oh, hey, Chadley again. Oh, if only May had a body, you could ride with her. Although she kind of looks like your twin sister, so that might be weird. Cloud is echoing my exact sentiments. What's this? <laughs> hey, you can turn it, that's cool. I wonder if there are any real life Ferris wheels that you can do that on turning the car. Probably not. It, yeah, it's VR, man. Just messing with you. That looks like he wants to jump out. <laughs> jump out. <laughs> Wait, the ride's not over. It is for me. Selling. Told me she was in the market for a man, not a selfish little boy. 
If I was gonna win her heart, I had some growing up to do. Otherwise, she'd never give me the time of day. Funny enough, our first date was at a theme park. Nowhere near as big as this place, of course. Just a traveling fair with a handful of rides. We ended up riding these wooden chocobos round and round, laughing our asses off. <laughs> Look at me, boring you with my old stories. Wouldn't be the first time. Don't worry, I'm used to it. <sighs> yeah, well... The lesson here is once you find your soulmate, you never let him go. So, who is it? Hmm? <coughs> Who's what? <laughs> you know damn well what I'm talking about. Why do you always have to overthink things? That ain't no way to live. You gotta just go for it sometimes. You mean like you do all the time? Do hmm. say. <laughs> Touche, Sparky here. <laughs> you could say that we balance each other out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it, though. If you do have feelings for someone, tell them straight out. Don't wait till it's too late. Right. Trust me, the one Cloud has feelings for, I wanted him to go on the date with her. But that didn't happen. It's because I did all your quests. And I nurtured the bromance, and now I'm living with it. Thanks for coming out tonight. I appreciate it. Tomorrow, we're gonna go to town on those suckers. Yeah. No, that's right. We have an arena fight to win. Oh, but first, we well, got the Turk shenanigans. I know anything about this promised land, but I do now. And seriously, wow! Find of the century. You never know. That intel could be bad. Our conclusions are based on a long-standing theory. It's safe to assume the temple and the promised land are one and the same. If the ancients headed there, then it's gotta be the right place. <laughs> Good thing we let her go. I understand the keystone is to be awarded to the winners of today's special event. How should we proceed? I have an idea. Yeah. Sorry if some noises got picked up on the recording there. I was kind of had to mess with something on my computer real quick. All right, let's bring this one home. <laughs> oh, yeah. The fight for naming rights. Your battle party will kiss the cloud, his date the previous night, and one member of your choosing. Once you and your teammates are prepared for the upcoming matches, speak to the reception staff. All right. Checking the time. It's getting it's running a little long here. So I might I think I'm going to call it here for this one because... Just a hunch, but I'm sure the next one, the fights are probably going to take a while, or at least cutscenes that accompany the fights will probably take a while. Longer than I want this recording to go, so uh, that'll be it for this one. Next time, we'll get we'll uh, get in the muscle at Coliseum and square off and represent Team Dio, I guess, against Team Corneo. And yeah we'll take it to those suckers but uh till then yeah thanks for joining me and y'all y'all take care <laughs>